All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and all glory to Yahaba Shemel Shai. I want to give double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone that do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. There is Makazar from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson will be Give Him No Rest. All right, and as you can see in the scripture here, you know, basically, when I said give him no rest, means, you know, keep praying unto the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And not only praying, but also, as the scripture says, do the work of an evangelist. All right, so, you know, we go out there, we prophesy and we preach and we, 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 we strive to wake up the elect so that we could, you know, we could get the hell out of here. Because our goal, our as, as Paul said, my desire is to be with the Lord. All right? But it's more needful for you to, that I am present, basically. So it's more needful for, for us to be in the flesh to wake up the elect. Because we have a job here to do. All right? So when we say give him no rest, we, we don't give the most high no rest when we cry and beg him to wake us up. And we also don't, you know... Don't even give the, 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 the wicked people of this world any rest when we go out and prophesy. Alright? Don't, 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 don't hold back your sword from blood when you go out, you prophesy, and you prophesy about the downfall of this wicked kingdom. So that the Lord Yahaba Hashem Shaka come and bring the destruction. And to bring the the um the, the salvation to come. Because in second Ezra, where he said um the end um says for doom is the end of this generation and the beginning of the glory which follow it so judgment comes before salvation before the lord raise us up he gonna bring down the so-called white man and the wicked of this world all right so we can't be here you know just laid back in his spirit not doing anything and, and hoping that the lord could um go deliver us from our enemies we have to show the lord yahaba shmi and that we want to be delivered this is isaiah chapter 62 verse 6 I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahabah Shmuel shall keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish, and till he make Jerusalem a praise on earth. So until we enter into the kingdom, let's not stop making that noise. Just let's keep making that noise. All right, let's keep sounding that trumpet so that the Lord could deliver us. All right. This is Revelation chapter 6, verse 9. It says, And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Yahweh, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on earth? So even the ones that died, they constantly praying and asking the Lord, Lord, when are you going to bring that judgment? All right, so us in the flesh, we have to do the same thing. We have to be fervent in spirit to, to prophesy and pray. Above all, pray unto the Lord for deliverance. All right, now we're going to Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. All right, when you look up, hold their peace. Come from the Hebrew word kasha. It says what to be silent, quiet, still, or inactive. All right, so we can't be inactive. We can't be silent. So don't, don't keep silent with your prayers. All right? All right? The scripture says, um, seven times a day do I praise thee. Three times a day do I pray unto the evening, morning, evening, and, and night. All right? We're going to pray unto the Lord constantly for salvation. But also don't be inactive when it comes to doing the work of an evangelist. All right? Don't do like some men that, you know, weeks, months, or years, they're not doing the Lord's work. But then they make their, they, 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 um... The intermittent guest guest appearance from time to time. Now we have to be out there all the time, constantly, constantly striving for the for the downfall of this kingdom. That is why that is why it says, "Give him no rest." Let the Lord see that we always praying and begging Him to come and deliver us, just like we did back in ancient Egypt, where the Scripture said, or the Scripture also said, "The cry of Jerusalem is going up." All right, back in Exodus. What the Lord told Moses, he said, the cry of the children of Israel came up to me. All right? Now we're going to send you to deliver them. So because they were crying unto him, he sent a deliverer. All right? So when you go into the scripture real quick, this is the book of um, Judges, 
chapter 3, verse 8. And it says, Therefore the anger of Yahabah Shemiashah was hot against Israel, and he sold them into the hand of the Koshan Rishatim, king of Mesopotamia. And the children of Israel served Koshan Rishatim eight years. So just like these last times, we sinned against the Lord. Isaiah 42, who gave Jacob unto the robbers and Israel unto the spoilers, did not the Lord against whom you have sinned. So we send against Yahaba Shemi and Shai, therefore he sold us into captivity. All right? And when, this is the punch, verse 9, Judges 3 and 9, and when the children of Israel cried unto Yahweh Ba Shemi and Shai, Yahweh Ba Shemi and Shai raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel when they cried unto him. Hence the reason. What the scripture said in Isaiah chapter um, 6, verse 9. All right? Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. What the Lord said. The Lord said, Harden the heart, make them blind, make their hearts fat, lest they understand with their hearts and hear with their ears. And see with their eyes and, I, and be converted and I heal them. So the Lord didn't want them to be healed. So the Lord said, go and make them blind. All right? Um, boom, boom, boom. Where is our scripture again? Um, this is Jeremiah. I believe it's Jeremiah chapter 46. Okay. I can't believe I forget that scripture. This um, boom. Just bear me one second. All right, Jeremiah forty four. Um, where is it? Where is it? Ah, Jeremiah forty four and twenty six. It says, Therefore, hear ye the word of Yahweh, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, saith Yahweh Shemel Shai. That my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man in Judah, in all the land of Egypt, saying, Yahaba Hashemir shall live it. So the Lord took his name away from us. He said, what? We will discontinue from our heritage. So the Lord took his name away from us. All right? The Lord took his name away from us. So then, pursuing the judges, we couldn't cry unto the Lord. We couldn't cry unto the Lord. So that is why we've been in captivity for so long. All right? We couldn't cry unto the Lord. Who are we going to call? That is the reason he took his name from us. Hence the reason we've been in captivity for so long. All right? Hence the reason we've been in captivity for so long. But now in these last days, beginning with Abba Bivens all the way down, the Lord returned his name unto us. Therefore, we crying unto him, Abba Father. All right? This is Psalms 91 verse... Verse 14, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. All right? So if we had known the name of the Lord, we would have been out of captivity long time. But because we didn't know, hence the reason we've been here all this time. It says, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. And I will set, I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him. So because we knew the name of the Lord, back then the Lord delivered us. That's why our captivities back then were short. But now in these times, because the Lord took his name from us, we in captivity this length of time. That is, that is, why, that is why we've been in captivity for so long. But now he gave us his name. So now, being returned, seek him ten times more. Alright? He gave us his name. Now we have to call upon him constantly for deliverance. That is why the scripture said, give him no rest. 
Now that we return to ourselves, now we have to go there and prophesy and show the Lord, we're we ready to come out of this place. We're ready to come out of this place. That's why the scripture said, give him no rest. All right? That's why it said, give him no rest. All right? This is um, Psalms 22. I said that verse, verse 1. It says, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And David was prophesying what Yahweh Shai said. All right? Why art thou so far from helping me? And from the words of my roaring. So it would seem like we hear, you know, we always out the apostles been prophesying for 30 plus years. You know, we still hear. All right? It says, Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the night season, and I'm not silent. So David was crying unto the Lord and not giving him no rest. It says, But thou art holy, O oh that O oh thou that inhabitest the praise um inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, and they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. Alright, they trusted in thee and were not confounded. It says, but I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despise of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot me out the lip. They, they shake their head saying, he trusted on Yahaba Shimei Oshai that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him seeing he delighted in him. I guess what? What, what, what scripture come to mind? Zephaniah chapter, um, chapter 7. All right, chapter 9 and 7. All right. What he says, um, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned. All right. But the Lord, but, but, but rejoice not against me, my enemy. Because the Lord will deliver us. Because we've been crying on the Lord for so long. Hence the, the reason the Lord are about ready to send his deliverer to deliver us, his son, Yahweh Shai. Because we're constantly crying unto him. Because we're constantly crying on the Lord and going out and waking up the elect so that they also could cry unto the Lord. Just like going around Jericho. The more voices to cry, the more the Lord can hear. So that is why our duty is to go out and wake up the elect so that we can be saved. Alright? And this is the final precept here. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. It says, And Yahaba Hashemir Shei answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Do it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So do it look like we're going to be here for years or we're here for years. You know, we're doing the same thing over and over. You see, we done done this, although the word we done that means to flood. Yeah, we flood the internet with videos and lessons, you know, us going out and preaching. But guess what? Everything has its season. But the more of the elect we wake up, the more voices can be shouting on the Lord, Yahaba, Hashem, and Shai to deliver us. All right? So don't cease to cry. Don't stop crying. Don't, don't run out of patience. Now, because you see that we're still here, don't cease to pray and beg the Lord for salvation. Do that every time you kneel down. The more voices sending up their prayers, the faster the Lord will deliver us. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahaba, Hashem, and Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great millstone that do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is your brother Makazak from the Trinidad camp saying Shalom and stay strong. Shalom.